Hey, it's Derek Dafter here with Kindle Bestseller Secrets, here with some tips and updates for formatting your Kindle book. Uh, this is going beyond the recommendations I've given before, which is using Fiverr.com to format the book. That's still a valid recommendation, but it's definitely not the most uh, economical way, especially if you're publishing multiple Kindle books. So I've scoured the web for the best programs and, and different resources out there for formatting a Kindle book and found what I consider to be the two best resources for formatting your book uh, that are going to be a lot more affordable in the long haul than using Fiverr. So the first one of these is Kinstant Formatter. Here is uh, Kinstant Formatter. It's a very simple web page layout. Uh, it's basically meant to just take your book from Word format to Kindle format. Uh, make sure the table of contents is all set up correctly and all that sort of stuff. So it also does a few things down here um, in terms of helping with the line spacing, improving the bullet points, the images. It just makes sure everything looks good for Kindle. So I have a Word document here. I just I started to put something together uh, just as an example. So I got my table of contents, preface, I stuck some bullet points in there. It's basically the first part of my book. Uh, this I put an image in and that sort of stuff so I I test all this stuff out because I'm not going to recommend anything that I haven't uh, that I wouldn't use myself or that I haven't tested and uh, really kind of done everything I can to make sure this stuff was uh, worthwhile so test book formatting that's the file uh, I will say that using open office with this software not quite as good uh, there's a few little glitches with using OpenOffice, so I would recommend using Word, and you can get Word for $10 a month, uh, like on a subscription thing. So if you plan on writing a lot of Kindle books, you can get Word for $10 a month, uh, or you can use the next program that I'm talking about. So we got that uploaded. Uh, I won't bother with the cover right now, so test book. I'll just kind of leave all of this in its standard format, and we'll generate a Kindle EPUB file, and then it's ready to download. So I'm going to download this to the computer, test book formatting, and I'll save that. So I'm going to upload this book uh, that we just exported from Kinstant Formatter and take a look at what it looks like. We can preview the book now, see what it's going to look like. Um, see, there's the first page that I had. So it's got the table of contents. It's clickable, so let's click the preface takes us to that we have the bullet points everything looks really nice with the bullet points and everything is, is laid out correctly now if I wanted to indent or do any of that sort of stuff I just set that up in Word so everything is formatted nicely let's check out make sure the pictures show up uh, correctly some of these things are closer together I think that's just how I had it formatted in Word because I had those paragraphs different. Uh, there you got there. I should insert a page break between those two in order to make sure they go on a different page. Um, but everything is it's fine. The pictures. So uh, I've tested this out. It works well. Everything seems to show up fine. Of course, you can always see what it's going to look like on the different device. So Kinston Formatter, it's uh, works on a credit-based system. So it's basically twenty-seven cents. Per conversion you're probably going to use up a few of those conversions just to make sure everything uh, looks right you might need to go back to your word file and change anything uh, if you don't like the way it looks but for the most part everything seems to work out really well with this and uh, 27 cents a conversion that's much cheaper than spending 5 10 15 20 plus dollars on Fiverr depending on the size of your book uh, so if you have word already that you're using as your word processor or are going to use Word, then Kinstant Formatter is very quick and easy, uh, and you can buy 100 credits for $27. Just go to ebookbestsellersecrets.com forward slash Kinstant, K-I-N-S-T-A-N-T, uh, to check that out. But there's one other program that I've checked out uh, that is good, and that is KD Publishing Pro. And what this is is basically like a built-in word processor uh, that you can use and then export it out as a as a doc format that's already to be uploaded to Amazon uh, as, as a and then converted through Amazon so I've tested this out and the it's super easy to do this if you're gonna create a book I already have some sample books created uh, but to create a new book 
you'll come in here, uh, find out where you want to save it, you know, your book title, author name, you can add a copyright page, uh, and then you just, it builds out the table of contents for you, and then it works like a regular word processor. I'm going to show you an example of something I already have. So I have my test book, this, uh, and then so I've added a chapter there. I'm going to go ahead and click the edit button, and you see it brings up a word processor that is essentially very similar to Microsoft Word. Uh, so I've just put in a few random things, and this is my table of contents right here. So I have a chapter with a picture that I stuck in, and then um, just some more kind of random stuff, a hyperlink. So what you can do here is you get your book all set up and written in this program. Okay, so you start out using this program as your word processor, which I would recommend if you don't have Word, because this is much cheaper to use than Word, and it's all set up, ready to go with Kindle. So I'll save that book, and then we hit export. Now you can export as an EPUB, HTML, Doc, ODT, or DocX. Now I've tested this program pretty extensively, and I can say that it's not really even worth exporting it as an EPUB file um, or HTML. The only thing that seems to work like really well the best out of everything is the doc format. So I'll export this as test book for Kindle as a doc. And what we're going to see is when we upload this into uh, KDP, it's all ready to go with a clickable table of contents. So test book for Kindle, doc, open this up, and upload the book. So right now we have our title page, which was uh, what we create here based off of this. So your title and your author. So that'll insert that automatically title by the author. Go to the next page. We inserted our copyright page, which you can change that. You can make it say anything that you want. Then we have our table of contents with clickable uh, stuff. Now for some reason I noticed it kind of spaced that out, probably because of the length of the words. Uh, so let's just click on that brings us to here. You can see we got our bullet points. It does space out these bullet points. That's one thing I've noticed about it when saving it as a doc format. That's not too bad. Uh, we have our indention. We have our regular. That's because I, I indented that there to test it. And go through here. The picture shows up fine. Go to our next thing. Uh, there we got our hyperlink which is all set to go. So this is a very um, very easy to use program that gives you basically the power of Word at a much more affordable price that's easy to upload it to Amazon. So between these two um, programs, they, these will be much more affordable and easier things to use for formatting your book for Kindle. I actually, I really don't like OpenOffice, so it's nice to have this if you're not using Word. Now, KD Publishing Pro is a Windows only program. So if you're on Windows and you're currently using OpenOffice, I would suggest investing the small amount of money in KD Publishing Pro. Uh, you can go to ebook bestseller secrets forward slash um, or dot com forward slash uh, publishing pro and check this out. And this is good as a replacement to OpenOffice. Now if you're already using Word, Really, you, you don't need this software. Uh, I would go with Kinstant Formatter. But if you're using OpenOffice, it's definitely a better replacement. If you um, are on a Mac and you're using OpenOffice, it's not really worth getting Windows just to get this program. But if you're writing a lot of uh, Kindle books, then what I would recommend is using the $10 a month subscription for the uh, Word from Microsoft and combining that with Kinstant Formatter to format your books. Either one of these things will give you uh, much better uh, pricing for getting your books formatted for Kindle in a way that looks really good. So they're my recommendations. Uh, highly suggest that you check these two programs out depending on which one suits you.